Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Kareem Clemens. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me right here, right now. This is Kareem in the Morning Radio slash Podcast Edition. And welcome, 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 guys, to this edition of Kareem in the Morning Radio slash podcast edition. Now, y'all like, well, why is he not appearing on camera? And I'm like, well, why am I appearing on camera? Well, look, ladies and gentlemen, there is something going on with the um, with the modem. I don't know what's going on, but this problem will be corrected as soon as possible. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to apologize for any inconvenience. Yes, you can't see my beautiful face right now and my beautiful background, but I'm here, okay, and we're going to get the job done, video or no video, okay? It is what it is. So um, I will explain to you guys why the video is not on later on in the broadcast, but um, let me go ahead and run my disclaimer. Uh, hopefully we're not having any problems because, uh, yeah, let me just run my disclaimer real quick. This channel and these videos are not meant for children under the age of 13. Omega Studio News, Talk Show T, Kareem in the Morning, Kareem in the Morning on the go, Kareem on the Morning, radio and podcast. You must be over the age of 18. Okay, so... I want to just first quickly say I apologize for any lagging or any type of experience that is going on on this show, but it is just really, really uh, crazy because I'm, I haven't, I've never had this problem before, okay? I've never had this problem before with my internet service, and now all of something coming to the end of the year, and we're having these problems, which I'm... I'm not liking. Okay, so I'm going to do as, as much as I can uh, on here. All right, so let me just go ahead and add to the stream. So I hope everybody is able to see this. And I'm, I'm going to try to, like, not put the videos in over this, uh, you know, the, um, the sponsor video, uh, the other videos that I normally show, because I think the... Uh, the, the internet is like going in and out, in and out. But hopefully in three days or now in two days, we should have this fixed. So come next week, we should have this fixed. But before I continue, I want to say uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today is the first day of winter. Welcome to winter, old man winter. Mother Nature, is uh, she's still here, but old man winter. He is now moving his bags in, and he is doing his thing by going to, we probably have a cold winter. I would say, I really want to see some snow, okay? But anyway, but yeah, so, and yeah, I know there's a, a big problem, but anyway, it is what it is. So here, I did a video on the other day, right? And uh, I, was, I was explaining, and this is how I found out that I was having problems with this, uh, with the, the modem or whatever, the video that I did, it was lagging. It was lagging when I went to go watch it. It's probably, uh, hopefully it's not lagging in my voice, but if I play a video, it might lag, but 
uh, I had the video. The audio was fine on it. It's just the video is like it's jumpy. So anyway, I will post that video. Uh, well, matter of fact, I'll I'll take the audio out of it, and then I will post the uh, audio for you guys to listen to that. I did it two times. Once I did it on my uh, my um, computer, and the other one I did it on my my, my um, tablet. The one on the tablet came back the same way. Like it was like jumpy, jumpy. So I don't know if it's like StreamYard or because this is my first time seeing this uh, this icon at the upper uh, left corner, and it like tells you. Um, your service going in and out, in and out. It's like a Wi-Fi thing. I've never seen that before. But there is some issues with my modem, so I'm swapping that out. It will be here in three days. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, let me just do this real quick because uh, I have a program here for you guys. Just a little something, something, if this will let me do it. Okay, welcome, Kareem in the morning. This is the uh, radio podcast edition. You guys just hear my beautiful voice that God has given me. And y'all will see my sexy, beautiful ass in the coming days on video, all right? But I am trying or looking at OBS, Open Broadcast System, but the only thing with that is that I got to try to do like the background or maybe I'll just have like, um, you know, make, create my own background, whatever. I won't have the green screen. All right, so Kareem in the morning. I'm Kareem Clements. All right, so uh, happy winter 2021. Host Kareem J. Clements, that is me, myself, and I. This show is sponsored by Omega Studio News and talk show T and TST TV. Copyright date December of 2021. Okay, then we have beautiful uh, picture. Uh, now, let me just go ahead and um, explain what I'm going to talk about a little bit today. I'm definitely, definitely going to talk about, which I did talk a little bit about it on my last videos, but uh, I wanted to talk about the fact that these reports are now coming out that uh, the disgrace Jesse Smollett, okay? So let me just go ahead and jump to that tab if I can, Okay. The disgrace Jesse Smollett. Now it is a whole now I already knew. I already knew that this was gonna come out. It's just we didn't know the time. Okay. Because that whole um th that whole I don't know what you call that that happened in freaking 2019 when he was charged by the grand jury and then his case was uh um uh, somehow expunged and then it was dismissed and closed and then next thing you know he gets charged because the special prosecutor and Dean and, and did his thing and I'm so happy that they did their thing because listen there is a report uh, a PDF document cloud.org report that um that definitely talks about the disgrace Jesse Smollett and Kim Fox Kim Fox who basically back then when I was just now, you know, getting into the case, this was the lady who was recusing herself, like getting taking herself out of the situation. I don't know, but we know now. We know now what she did and what social media is saying. This lady needs to be, this is what social media is saying. The lady needs to be um, reported for uh, 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 misconduct and her actions on how she handled this case. And I told y'all then, I said it then, I'll say it again, man. This man, the, the treatment that this man received, I'm telling you, boy, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, boy, that no black man gonna receive that. I'm just saying. Oh, his mother's black, his father's Jewish. Just keep that in mind. You're not going to, you're not going, a, a black man is not going to receive this type of condition, okay? But let's move on from that, Kareem. Move on from that, okay? The reason why I say this, we do know that the disgraced actor Jesse Smollett was found guilty on five, six felony counts of disorderly conduct 
for making false reports to Chicago police that he was the victim of a hate crime in January of 2019. I'm telling you, this is a, 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 a report that is coming from the, uh, is the Office of the Special Prosecutor, summary of its final conclusions, supporting the findings and evidence relating to the Cook County State Attorney Office and the Chicago Police Department involving in the initial, I would say, the disgraced Jesse Smollett case. Okay? Now listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what the fuck, but here, it's given how many pages? Tell me how many pages. I need to see how many pages. 68 pages. Okay? I mean, it goes on by giving the major conclusion. And mind you, when I um, when I put this video out, if it came out all bright and nice and y'all can hear my voice and everything, because that's all I, I need y'all to just hear my voice. I mean, we'll, we'll fix the video later. But um, if y'all can hear my voice, sorry about the ticker down there jumping, but it's all good. Y'all can hear me. Okay, it's all good. I'll post it out, or if anything, I'll probably have to do a live event for these coming days. But I'm gonna, I'm here with y'all. Kareem in the morning, it, it, we're here. Either we on the go or we doing the podcast, baby boy. All right. So in table of continents, it gives a whole. Oh yeah, I was saying that I was. I'm going to um, post this on my social media. I will uh, sit. I will put it on my Twitter. I will put it on my uh, the jury room on uh, Facebook, and I will definitely, definitely have it under the video on YouTube, okay? So, yes. Yeah, so, the table of consonants, it gives you everything, Rich. I mean, it's giving you everything. Uh, basically, the first finding of the abuse that they found, I guess, in the beginning, and how... Uh, the second finding of abuse of disc discretion or desertion of CCSAO, I would think that's Cook County, Cook County, uh, special, uh, Cook County State Attorney's Office, uh, false and, and or misleading statements about dismissal warrant. What? Okay, it's going by pages. So let me just do a page like that. Oh my God. It's just, I mean, I was reading online where they had said that uh, the disgraced Jesse Smollett's sister was called and she asked the question, and I think somebody had related was the attacker's black, I mean, was the attacker's white, and somebody referred and said the attacker's was. Black or no, something like that. All right. But it is giving a lot of tea. It's giving a lot of tea. And I wonder what Kim Fox is doing right now. I wonder what she's doing. I wonder how she's basically uh, feeling right now this morning because this is embarrassing. This is very much embarrassing, not only to the state of, 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 of um, Illinois, but to the county, Cook County, and also to the uh, the government and the federal, state level in Chicago. I mean, we had the problem with the killing. We had the problems with you know trying to uh, get that under control with how many killings that are happening in in Illinois. We 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 have you know uh, now we have this where this guy uh, goes and make up a false report and then ne necessarily uh, try to get away with it by people helping him out. Now, why did she help him out? I'm thinking she probably helped him out because she really probably, I don't know if she know, knew him, probably knew somebody in the family, probably knew the mama, probably, I don't know. Okay, he probably know a lot of people due to the fact that she probably thought that since, you know, he was on Empire playing his role and character, then and I love Empire, okay, then I'm just going to go ahead and give him this, you know, special star treatment for him. And that special star treatment would definitely be, we will uh, definitely, definitely make this happen. And that's exactly what happened. He, the, he was indicted by the grand jury, right? He was indicted by the grand jury. Uh, the saying is, don't get excited. 
You've just been indicted. Okay, so turn around, 16 counts is uh, like white clean, dismissed. Like, I don't understand it. I really don't understand it. But yeah, it goes into depth on what happened. Uh, they're saying that in connection with the judge, they're saying that which included 53 interviews, issued more than 50 subpoenas, document requests, collections, uh, more than 120,000 pages of document or more than 26,000 documents, as well as text messages, data, audio, recording. Like, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. And I, I got to read this. I have to read all of this because, and, and, and before I, because I'm, I'm going to read this, but while we're here, and I'll do this real quick because I don't want this to be a long one. Uh, I do want to say that the government, while we're on government, the President of the United States, Biden, and First Lady is getting a dog and a cat. Okay, they are getting a cat in January, and they're getting a dog by the name of Commander. Okay, the dog name is Commander, and they are going to get a cat which will join their family in January of 2022. So once those pictures become available, I will give you guys the scoop on that. Okay, so welcome the animals to the White House. All right, so let me just go ahead and uh, touch news on. The, okay, so yeah, let me just go ahead and say this. So the the convicted officer, former officer, who killed George Floyd wants to go to a federal prison, even though it means he'll do more time. Now, I don't know. Maybe he feels like he has, that he's going through a hell of a time where he's at right now, which he should. His ass should be in solitary confinement, okay? It, his ass should be in solitary confinement, and he should be away from the public because he's a former police officer, and he pled guilty, uh, uh, he was found guilty, and they gave him, you know, time. But now he has a silver suit, which he pled guilty to killing George Floyd. And, you know, we already know what he did. I'm not going to remind people what he did. You know, what he did was act absolutely horrible. You know, taking a man's life by being on on his neck for a long time. You know, and I really hope and I really pray that those laws that are out there today that ban chokeholds and ban knee on the necks of human beings, that people don't experience this ever. We don't experience ever again, you know. Um, but yes, he feels like he needs to go to a federal prison. And I believe that. You know, it's something about a federal prison and a regular prison. It's got to be something different because federal prison, I know you live, you live, you live in there, even though you in jail, you have more, uh, I would say, leniency compared to if you was in a regular prison. But either way, the rehabilitation center, when it comes to prisons, it's not rehabilitating because if it was rehabilitating, and I'm going to just say this once. If it was rehabilitating, ladies and gentlemen, we will not be continuing to make more jails. We will not continue to have more people in the jails. And if it was rehabilitating people, hello, uh, what can I say? I mean, if you was rehabilitating people, they will be out of the jails, okay? They will not be making more jails. They will be making more schools and playgrounds more than that they more than making the jails. Okay, but this man wants to go to federal jail and, uh, you know, but yeah, I don't know. It is what it is. Uh, he must serve 20 years in prison and a maximum of 25 years. So he has all that time to basically think about what he did. And when he comes out, he should be another uh, dumb man. Okay, I don't even want to say his name. The guy who killed Trayvon Martin, you know put that man out 
of sight. Like when he comes out, his life is like nobody don't know him. Like he's he he's dead to the world. Seriously. Because when that man is released in 25 years, he will be just like Dumberman. You see how he can't get a job, he's broke, he he's uh in debt. Nobody don't want to hire nobody but to be. He killed Trayvon Martin. You did that to him, man, and now you must pay. And see, since he didn't go to jail, he out in the public. Yes, he is very much black boy. I would not want to be in his shoes, bitch. Okay, so yeah, so when that formal officer comes out of jail, he should be just like him and suffer the consequences because when he has seen the world and what this bitch did, okay, and how he changed so many lives, okay, and pushed for certain things to happen, you feel me? But yeah, so whatever it is, he got 20-something years to think about that. It is what it is. Move on. Okay. All right. So yeah, so good morning. Welcome. Kareem in the morning radio edition slash podcast. I'm going to go ahead and talk about the, the safety fact. Again, welcome. Welcome. Welcome to this show. I want to apologize. For those who are coming here right now, understanding that you don't see my beautiful face, I'm doing the audio right now because I've been having issues with my modem, and that shall be resolved in three days. Okay? So, yes. Yeah, so, finally, I want to just basically talk about this real quick. Uh, I want to really, really stress the fact that, listen, a lot of people are saying we're going on lockdown. We're going on lockdown because we have this new variant that's out. And it seems like it's attacking. The, I'm hearing from both sides of the board. One saying is attacking the people that's not vaccinated. And then the other side saying is attacking the people that is vaccinated. We're just attacking everybody. Okay? It's attacking everybody. Just make sure everybody continue to wear their face masks and social distance yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't want to go on a lockdown, if you don't want to go on closures, we got to do what we got to do, okay? Because, listen, Linda, listen, Linda, okay? It's up to you to make this happen. It's up to you to choose whether or not we have uh, an open and not a closed United States. Okay? So follow the guidelines for the CDC. Do what you need to do, ladies and gentlemen, because it's up to you. In the long run, it's up to you. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and end this right here. I'm not going to play no video. I'm just going to go ahead and throw up my thank you. Thank you guys for tuning in. For more information, you guys can visit the blog page. Thank you. Later.